picking a Springbok team only comprised of local players, this was a fun task. Really, really fun task. I enjoy doing this and it's really opened my eyes to the fact that we actually have a heck load of talent here in South Africa left. It's not like all our talent is left. There's a lot of good players here. Um, so before we get into the list, I should just say that this list doesn't include or it does include players that are injured. Okay, so if a guy's injured like Spoon Corsi, um, who is actually coming back this weekend, but a guy like him I have included. Um, so injuries, that, that doesn't matter. And I tell you, a lot of these positions were extremely, extremely competitive. It, it was really difficult uh, picking the, the right player for specific positions. There were a few positions as well that were a little bit concerning. There's not a lot of depth locally in those positions. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's get right into it. Um, number one, Stephen Kitschoff. Easy, easy pick, loose head prop. This is a World Cup winning loose head prop. I mean, this guy can scrum. He can, he can carry, he can fetch, he can tackle. He, he's actually an all-rounded player. He plays a little bit like a loose forward, actually. Um, so Stephen Kitschoff, great player. I mean, I, I don't think anyone would, would argue me on that. <laughs> so uh, Bongi Mbunambi will be taking hooker, a, another World Cup winning front rower. Uh, excellent player. Uh, there, there's... I think for a few years to come, there's still going to be that battle between him and Marks, who, who, the, best, who the best hooker is for South Africa. Bongi he is strong. He's reliable. He's a great player. So he comfortably takes that position as well. And we're going to make it a World Cup winning front row with France Malherbe at tight head prop. It was a little bit difficult deciding between him and Trevor Nyakane, but... At the end of the day, it was pretty clear that he should take the number three sp spot. And that's because I've always been a big fan of Franci. He, he's a great scrummager. He's not the fittest. I think we all know that. But he, he's not only good in the scrums, but he, he's, he's good in the tackles as well. He makes a lot of good tackles. He carries well as well. So I like Franci. I, I think he's a great player. Um, so tight head prop, no problem with that. Um, Salman Murat will be taking the number four jersey at lock. Now, this decision was based on form. I, I decided on, on recent form. He's been playing really well recently at the start of this uh, Super Rugby Unlocked. And there, there's quite a lot of competition at lock. There's quite, there, we have a fair amount of, of decent locks here in South Africa, but... Uh, also, it was a combination decision. Um, number five is J.D. Schnickelin. And the reason I chose them together is because a lot of people are saying that this is going to be the next Bucky's Buerta and Victor Matfield, uh, these two. So, sort of a combination decision there. Uh, they're playing really well together. Schnickelin is great in uh, the lineouts. He, he's fantastic in the lineouts. Um, Salman Murat is a tough player. You know, it, they actually could easily fit the, the Victor Matfield, Bucky's Buerta roles. Uh, look, those are really big shoes to fill. So we, we have to see. They're both very young. So um, lo lots of talent in the lock positions. Um, yeah, quite a few guys had to miss out, unfortunately. Number six, flanker, Siakulisi. Who doesn't want a World Cup winning captain on the flank? I mean, Siakulisi straightforward. Uh, I've always been a big fan of Siakulisi. I think he's a really good player. And yeah, they, they, we have a lot of good flanks in South Africa at the moment. Yaku Creel as well. Nizam Kar is back. Uh, Marco van Staden, who's playing really well at the moment. But you have to go with that World Cup winning, winning number six. Also, I should mention the way I've picked this team I've, I've thought about how they would play under Jacques, Nienaber, Rassi, Rasmus and the coaching staff. So I, I'm picking this team uh, considering how the Springboks play and their setup and their, their, just how they function as a team. So I've considered that a lot um, in my picks. And obviously Siakulisi, he's already in the team, already the captain for the Springboks. So yeah. Peter Steff Tutoy at the other flanker. This is probably one of the best flankers South Africa has ever had. He was the best player in the world last year. 
Um, he's injured at the moment, unfortunately, but I think he's coming back soon. Um, so Peter Steph Tutoy, that guy's so good. He, he's one of the hardest tacklers around. He's got heart. Peter Steph Tutoy, guys. Peter freaking Steph Tutoy. Number eight, eighth man, Dwayne Vermeulen. It's so nice to have guys like Dwayne Vermeulen playing here in South Africa. He's so solid. He is freakishly strong, reliable, a fetcher, a carrier. Dwayne Vermeulen, one of the best number eights in the world. Really, he's excellent. And although he's coming to the end of his career, he's playing like he's 25. So no, no doubts there. I uh, must also just point out that that's seven Stormers players in, in the forward pack. Honestly, uh, that wasn't intentional. Um, just, you know, they've got a lot of World Cup winning players in the Stormers uh, pack. So, and they're really good players, you know. So, number nine, Herschel Yankees. Easy decision yet again. Such a young player. He played brilliantly last year for the Springboks. Made his debut last year. Made his way into the World Cup team. He's playing really good rugby as well. What I like about Yankees is he really is opportunist. He looks for opportunities. And uh, I really like that in a scrum off. We have many decent scrum offs here in South Africa. Ambrose Papir was definitely a consideration. Even from sale. Um, but they're not, they're not as opportunistic as Yankees. And I like that in Yankees, you know. And he's already... He's already playing great rugby, so I think many of you would agree with me there. But let me know if you disagree. I'd, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, Kerwin Bosch at fly-off. Now, some people might be, might be wondering why it's not um, out on Yankees. Well, Kerwin Bosch, in my opinion, is playing better rugby at the moment. Yankees isn't in good form, and uh, Kerwin Bosch is playing excellent rugby, and I think he's going to become a huge asset to the Springboks later on his career, in his career. There's a lot of competition in that position, but um, I, th I think he's he's going to play a much bigger role in the Springbok setup. And I think he would have played quite a few, he would have earned quite a few Springbok caps if COVID didn't come around this year. But uh, yeah, I'm going with Cohen Bosch, great kicker, can kick from he's like a front stain. He can almost kick from anywhere at the moment. Uh, and that's pretty impressive for, for his size. Uh, let's look at the left wing, number 11, Roscoe Speckman. So I could have picked Makazola Mampimpi because technically he is still based here in South Africa. Um, and he's just on a short-term loan at Japan at the moment. But I just thought it would be more interesting if uh, we take Makazolo out and introduce a little bit more competition. So I'm going with Roscoe Speckman. He's playing excellently at the moment so well he he's so dangerous with the ball honestly so so dangerous with the ball he can make something out of nothing he's playing great rugby and i think he's going to make a springbok debut very soon uh let's move on to the center pairings pairings we're going to get to the other wing just now uh franz stein at inside center i mean who does not want a center who has won two world cups in their team i mean he is excellent and it's it's not just that it's not just that he's won two world cups he really is playing excellent rugby at the moment he's very physical i mean especially for his age he's playing very physical rugby for the cheetahs which i'm enjoying so uh he 100 deserves that spot and what's nice about having him there is he can move to fly off if necessary he can move to fullback again i'm thinking of this as a team not necessarily each position individually i'm thinking of as of it as a team okay uh outside center lucanio um so another world cup winner lucanio um is excellent he has good handling good skills and he's a physical player he's very good on defense him and dialandi work very well even though dialandi isn't here but he, he he's excellent really lucanio um and He's going to play a bigger, bigger role in the Springboks coming up um, in the next few seasons. And he's still really young, so I'm, I'm a big fan. Spoon Corsi at number 14. So uh, he, he's making his uh, return this Saturday. And Spoon Corsi is excellent, you know, great, great play. If it wasn't for Chess and Colby, he would be the starting right winger most likely. 
Um, so he, he did really well he, when he was caught up into the starting lineup last year. Um, Spoon, of course, he's a great player. Number 15, I'm going with Warwick Gelant at fullback. There's quite a lot of competition here. Damien Willems, uh, Fassi, those guys are playing great rugby, but Warwick Gelant is in the best form, I think. Obviously, Fassi hasn't been playing in a while, but Damien Willems, uh, ah, very, very close. I was close to choosing him, but I'm more comfortable with Warwick Gelant. Uh, he's a great, great player. I really like him. Another guy who can create something out of nothing, dangerous with the ball. So he's going to get better and better. Let's read out the bench. Okay, I'm going to read out the bench. And for this bench, I went with a forward dominated bench because that is what uh, the Springboks like to do. Obviously, you know, we did the 6-2 the split last year at the World Cup. So I'm going with the majority forwards just because that's the kind of game plan the Springboks play. So for the bench, I went with Oxen Che, Trevan Yakane, Reinach Fenter, Jakub Kriel, Jason Jenkins, Ruan Pina, Berger Urnendau, and uh, Damien Willemse. So um, obviously, you need a good front row to bring on with our kind of game plan. And you know, like most international teams nowadays actually have a front row waiting to come on. Um, and Oxen Che, he has had his debut already. He had it um, against Wales in the US, but that wasn't a proper debut. I think he's going to feature more in the spring box. Um, Trevor Nyakane, it was a close call again between him and Thomas Dutoy, but I went with Trevor because he's more experienced and um, he's an excellent scrummer. Yeah, great player. Um, but both of them, it's a winner. Reinach Fenter, yeah. So Hooker is a little bit of a concern. We don't have that many... Um, experienced hookers in South Africa at the moment. We've got a lot of young hookers, but um, yeah, uh, Bongi Mbunambi is the main world-class hooker that we have. There's Skaran Tubeni and a few others, but I went with uh, Reina Fenter because he, he's in good form and that was pretty much the only reason. He, he's playing good rugby at the moment, but easily one of the other young hookers could overtake him and play better rugby later on. Yaku Kriel, uh, the reason I picked him, obviously playing great rugby, uh, really, he's, it's so nice to have him uh, back in South Africa. Excellent player. Jason Jenkins, uh, not too many other locks are playing great rugby at the moment, so I went with Jason Jenkins. He's also had a bit of a cold start to the season, but he's quite experienced. He's played for the Springboks before, so... That's kind of why I picked him, but a little bit of a weak reason. But yeah, uh, going with him. Ruan Pina just got an injury, unfortunately. But as I said, I'm not thinking about injuries. Um, that's not part of the criteria for this uh, team. But Ruan Pina, he's still playing really good rugby. He's quite old, but he, he's playing excellently. There's a lot of young players uh, coming up, like Nohamba. Um, obviously, Ivan Van Sale and Papir, they are still there, but... I think I'd go with Ruan Pina if it was a if it was a test. Thank you. Yeah, Berger Urdendal, he's in excellent form, playing really well for the Lions. Um, a versatile player, that's why I went for him. And Damien Willemse, also versatile. He can slot in at fly half. He can slot in at centre. He can slot in at fullback. So it's nice to have a utility player like that on the bench. And that is my team. It was a fun process. I really enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. What changes would you have made? And uh, please feel free to suggest any other uh, teams I can come up with. I was thinking of doing a foreign-only team as well, which could be quite interesting. And a team comprising of players who haven't gotten their Springbok debut yet. Uh, I think that could also be fun. So let me know what you'd like to see. And thank you for watching.